Oh yeah. We need to put that on that. Okay, so this is what I get for trying to be some cool YouTube guy. I uh, was just trying to set up a shot of me putting my paddle together, which is like the most ridiculously stupid shot ever. And I dropped this camera in the water. This is like, I don't remember how much this cost me. It was a lot and now it's not working. So now instead of going fishing, which was what I was excited to do, I'm gonna go to a gas station up the road and hope that they have rice because I don't want to uh, lose. No, it, you're turned off and you're making scary sounds. <sighs> You know what though, it's still gonna be a good day. I'm not gonna let this ruin my day because today I took time off of work and I am going fishing. Now, I don't get a lot of time to fish these days because as you know, you know, it's to... This makes me wanna cry. Okay, well, if my camera wants to stop interrupting me. Anyways, I'm really stoked today because I actually took a vacation day because I wanted a day for myself. I wanted to fish for like more than a couple hours. Most of my fishing trips lately have been like an hour, 30 minutes, you know, so on and so forth. So I'm really stoked today to have a chance to really have an extended amount of time on the water. Making YouTube videos can be very expensive, folks, when you're an idiot like me. I need to stop buying nice things because I crash my drones and I drop my cameras in the water. I've dropped my cameras off of the roof of my car. So many stupid mistakes. So so many stupid mistakes. I'm not gonna let it get me down. We are going to have a freaking good day on the water. We are going to. I think I'm just gonna lock the kayak to a tree. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna wear my life jacket in my car. I don't care. Got nine dang rods right there. I thought, okay, well, we're gonna have so much dang time, I'm gonna be able to ultralight fish and then I'll probably bass fish a little bit. I'll have so much time, I'll be able to do all these things. And here we are, the first hour of our day is going to be dedicated to trying to salvage a camera that was dropped in the water. I'm not the only one having a tough day though. Um, these folks over here, a boat just pulled up and they are literally currently cleaning up the windshield from their boat. Uh, a rock must have kicked up or something and that thing just shattered So I'm gonna see if the gas station happens to have anything that can help their situation out I'm sorry that so far this video has been very very much just problematic and not fishing I know you guys tend to be here because you like fishing, but hey, this is the reality of making fishing videos Sometimes crap like this happens and it really disrupts your day But I want to tell the story nonetheless Do gas stations carry rice. Nothing is going to ruin this day We're going to have a fun fishing trip Ah! Please have rice. No luck on the rice at the gas station, but apparently there's a Dollar General right down the road. Folks, if you want to help me buy a new camera because this one might be broken, uh, you can buy a Ned Rig for Life t-shirts linked in the description below. When in doubt though, just crank up some Randy Travis. He'll usually get you through your troubles is what I've found. Higher than the pine trees growing tall upon the hill our love is. Okay. Folks, I tell you what, I'm feeling a lot better. Randy Travis coaching me through this moment. Arrgh! I'm not actually feeling any better. I'm actually still super freaking mad. Is this what folks refer to as a vlog? Am I vlogging right now? Am I a vlogger? I'm a vlogger. Let's go Dollar General, come on. This video is sponsored by Dollar General. No, it's not. Dollar General, give me 1500 bucks. This video will be officially sponsored by Dollar General. I've never been more excited about a daggum dollar general, folks. Y'all got rice? Vlog. Vlog. Shut up, Randy Travis. Oh yeah, this has gotta be the rice aisle. Yes, yes, yes. I've got an idea. Now I know you're probably curious, Ethan, why did you also buy tape? Well, I bought the tape because the folks at the boat ramp who broke out their windshield on their boat, I figured you could use the tape to get all those small pieces. You just basically push it down and you'll get all the small pieces that you're not gonna be able to pick up with your fingers. Uh, so I think that'll help them. That way they're not stepping on glass all day long. Look, I'm a considerate guy, or maybe I just want the good karma to fix my camera. I don't know, maybe a little bit of both. I've got my camera and my microphone shoved in this rice bag, and now we wait. Um, what can we do while we're waiting, you might be wondering? Well, first time pedaling this kayak in like three months, so obviously I'm extremely happy right now. 
What do we think this is? Bluegill? Crappie? We're about to find out. Can't tell me you're not gonna eat this lipless. Yeah, something tells me this is a bunch of tiny bluegills, what I'm guessing. It's worth trying though. All right, I'm gonna try uh, drifting a 132nd ounce mule jig and donkey tail junior. There's definitely a lot of fish down there. The question is, what are they? Oh, there's a bite. Oh, I missed him. That felt like a bluegill bite, if I was a betting man. There he is. You know, this might be a crappie. This is a crappie. Yes, yes, this is low key my goal today. I was hoping to find some crappie. Well, we might have a camera situation in the car, but we got a crappie in the boat and I'm happy about that. There's a bite. That feels like a bluegill. I have a feeling there's a mix of bluegill and crappie down there. All right, so right there is my school. They're right underneath me. And I just threw that buoy just past them. So if I cast towards that buoy, I should be able to find the fish. It just dropped that line all the way down and then the weight sits on the bottom. And so it'll just sit there, it'll stay in position. And uh, that way you have a point of reference. And when you're out here in a kayak, even if it's not windy, you drift around a lot. So I've got a 332nd ounce white mule jig with a little minnow style bait on there. And I'm gonna try that, just a little bit faster rate of fall. And it's a little bit larger profile. And we're gonna see if that makes the crappie react a little bit differently. There he is, oh baby. It's a good crappie. It's a good crappie. Boom shakalaka. This one's not big by any means, but he's built a little bit better. You know, these fish are moving around, I think. This water temp is dropping. These crappie like that cooler water. They're starting to eat a little more aggressively, I think. Once I get done with the pursuit of a 10, crappie is one of the next species I'd like to do a mini series on because I want to learn more about them. And the best way to do that is to just go fish for them more often. There he is, oof. If this is a crappie, this is a nice one. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> yeah, you gotta believe there's gonna be some of those mixed in. God, when I freaking set the hook on this guy, I'm just like, my gosh. All right, <laughs> I'll take that, man. I'll definitely take bass mixed in with my crappie, even if he is a small one. I love it. There he is. That's a nice crappie. Yeah, yeah, buddy, yes. That's what we're looking for, my friends. Beautiful. I still got it, baby. Let's go. All right, a little chunk. See you, buddy. Okay, how about a quick update? I tell you what, I took off that little lipless crankbait. As much as I think a lipless crankbait could work for these crappie and maybe I should try a different color, I didn't feel like it. I went ahead and rigged up a double jig rig. This is a 132nd ounce pink mule jig with a true chartreuse donkey tail junior. And then I've got a 1 16th ounce fire red mule jig with a uh, two and a half inch gulp minnow. I'm pretty darn sure we're gonna catch a crappie on this. And if I'm lucky, I would love to catch two crappie at one time on this. Let's see what happens. Let's get this back in the water. Let's go. Oh. I'm getting a short striker, you little stink. Oh, you little. There we go, you little stink. What is going on with my line? What's going on? Something feels messed up. Oh, what's going on? Something messed up here. I don't know what's messed up. Oh, well that would explain it. Look at that, a little tiny bluegill. There's bluegill in the mix. That's what all these short strikers are. I wanna get the crappie, not these little guys. That is a dink and a half, my lord. Oh, there's like, look at that. My line is wrapped around like the reel. There we go, we're good now. There he is. I knew there was fish here. That's a good one. Yes, yes. Double jig rig, thank you. Oh, dadgummit, I was holding that like a total doofus. This broke off my bottom jig, but fortunately we still got the fish. So all we gotta do is just grab that jiggy. All right, buddy, can I have that back? I gotta tie this jig back on, but that's a chunky little guy, very healthy fish. That'd be a good eater is what that would be. Sorry, dad, we're not keeping him. Now, where is my buoy? Where did, oh, there it is. Wow, we drifted a long ways. And that is exactly why we have a buoy. I drifted probably like 40 feet from my buoy after uh, re-rigging that. Shout out to my buoy. That is why you buy these things. There's another one. My friends, if you have a kayak and you like panfish, you gotta own some of these. Oh, nice bluegill. Nice bluegill in the mix. Ow, he dorsal finned the crap out of me like two times. Where did my crappie friends go? They're moving and grooving on me, man. There he is, yes. Stinking bluegill is what that is. gum. no wonder I'm getting so many dang short strikes. These bluegill keep moving in and the crappie move out. I think what I might do is go up to my car, have my peanut butter and jellies, switch out my rods and refocus my, the back end of my day on bass. There's, that's a bluegill. That's a bluegill. A little tiny one too, gum. 
on the little donkey tail junior little guy huh i just had a bite i'm not sure if it's a crappie or bluegill it's probably bluegill dang bluegill are screwing up my plans man there he is no oh, that's a crappie that has to be a crappie it's too big to be a bluegill oh my gosh guys freaking bluegill <laughs> holy smokes it's a nice one yeah i just sounded like a dang teenage boy holy smokes it's a nice one it's about an eight incher pert near enjoy that i'll take more bluegill like that if they want to be that grown i'm telling you folks shout out to this buoy this is uh definitely a big reason why i caught some of the fish i did okay well it took a picture so that's really promising i'm still not 100 percent convinced but it's very promising Okay, folks, I tell you what, today's video was interesting. I probably broke my camera, I'm not sure. It took a photo, so maybe it's okay. I guess we'll find out later. The point is, I had some crap happen to me this morning, but I did not let it ruin my day. I still caught some fish, so I'm pretty thankful. The other thing I'm thankful for is I've got two peanut butter and jellies here. Yeah, blackberry jam, baby. You already know it's gonna be tasty. And I've got my bass rods with me, so stay tuned for the next video. I am going to be doing some bass fishing. This year, I have done mostly ultralight fishing, so it's gonna feel good to do a little bit of bass fishing. I don't know what to expect, but it is fall, so I'm going to focus on power bass fishing. This time of year, you can really go big and move water fast, and I'm hoping that we can do that today. No matter what, I've got a Ned Rig set up too, and you know we'll catch fish with that. Regardless, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video, and stay tuned for next video. We'll catch you next time.